It is, I think, going to put a dampener on uh, the shuttle launch tomorrow. They're predicting 80% chance of rain tonight and more thunder and lightning tomorrow. So, But it's not only here. We came through Nashville, Tennessee, and they got really nasty storms happening there. I got the weather channel in the background. They had wet, uh, really nasty storms there and all along the Midwest. But at the same time, they're saying that in the Pacific Northwest, San Francisco, Seattle are not warming up. So I can't imagine what it's like right now in Vancouver also. Nasty weather all over the planet. I gotta say it was a heck of a drive that Cindy did getting us down from... This is the view in our hotel. British Columbia to Orlando, floor. Florida. That's as high as it gets. Two double beds, kitchenette, separate area. It's a pretty good sized room. But it doesn't have internet in the room. You gotta go down to the law before it. That bites. I mean, we live in 2011 now, not, you know, 100 years ago. We came down to see Atlantis, the last space shuttle takeoff. Looking for damage, though, to the space shuttle Atlantis, or the launch pad anyway, from a lightning strike earlier this afternoon. As many as one million spectators are expected when Atlantis lifts off for its last mission. The shuttle will take the 135th and final flight of the shuttle program, ferrying a year's worth of food to the International Space Station. It was storming when we arrived in Orlando, and uh, there was lightning, rain, all sorts of things happening and by all accounts there was a 70 percent chance that the shuttle launch would be scrubbed okay this is lost in yonkers well not exactly it's lost in calypso k uh south florida central florida we're on our way to cape canaveral to see the space shuttle launch which stands a 70 percent chance of being scrubbed today because of uh, rain thunder lightning that is coming in from the gulf of mexico and uh, it's a, always an exciting adventure getting out on the roads here because we have to really we have maps but we have no other way of finding our way around and uh, it's exciting 5618 kilometers Cindy is saying she needs money. <laughs> we all need Cindy it. Is say, Cindy is saying that it's cooler today because it's only 27 degrees at 9 a.m. And uh, we're on the Central Florida Causeway, which takes us to Cape Canaveral. And it's kind of cloudy, 70% chance of it being scrubbed. And there's a good chance of thunder, lightning storms today, and even regional flash floods so it gets even better yeah we're passing by little swamps on the side of the road or waterways whatever that have uh, lots of birds and wildlife in it so we just stay on this for quite a while John Young Parkway we know that one yeah <laughs> we're familiar with these roads okay what time was it when we started off well, it's 9.25 now, quarter after 9, maybe 10 minutes. That almost looks like an Atlantis hotel there from uh, Bahamas. It's a, it's a little bit exciting, but also a little bit nerve-wracking going over to Cape Canaveral for the launch because there's expected to be one million crowd watching and uh, many of the areas are already full that we saw on the news because people are staying closer to the launch site than we are but uh, you can park along the causeway anywhere along the way and get a view of the launch should it take place and it's supposed to be something quite spectacular so I hope it goes we're going for it and that's that's all I can say but you can see the clouds it's there is a little break in the clouds here and there and it's not windy there's no thunder and lightning so hopefully it'll happen and uh, 
It's historic. It's historic. We've got some neat newspapers that have whole big sections on this uh, event. And uh, some interesting information too is that uh, for the next years, maybe four or five years, America is going to be re re relying on the Russians for space launches. And apparently right now, already Russia has upped the cost to take an astronaut up to the space station from $20 million to $50 million because America is not going to have any uh, alternative. They've got to rely on them. So if they were to raise it to $100, $150 million, that's a cost. That's just the way it goes. And uh, on the news, it was actually American news that they were saying is that the Russians have learned good capitalism. So it's... Uh, this is think not about. New Mexico. This is a lot more congested from the roads to the cities that are almost uh, butting up against each other. It's a busy place. Although I knew that Florida was uh, had a big population, a lot of people moved down here for retirement. It's a lot more congested than what I thought, and uh, not the uh, peaceful. Florida sunshine paradise. It uh, seems actually quite fast-paced because there's interstates and toll highways crisscrossing every which way and uh, even the roads going uh, through the cities, towns or whatever are large fast-moving expressways. It's uh, very congested. These properties are selling from the low 100s, and I can see even from uh, the vehicle going by that some are empty. Um, Cindy is saying that for her the uh, design is quite perfect because there's good connecting roads and, and it's fairly fast to get around that they were thinking ahead when they built it. So, but the traffic is, is, is big and just like Florida and, and all these residences, it's, that one even hit a pond. They've got so, screen pool areas and backyards. There's a screen pool. In the last 10 minutes, this is now the second toll booth that we're encountering. Be warned, Florida has a lot of toll roads. And you always have to keep change handy. But you can get around fairly quickly. Great signage, letting you know how far to go. Even uh, how, how long it'll take you to get there. It's looking optimistically bright uh, outside. So we're going to be turning off onto Interstate 528 up here shortly. And that cuts us over towards Cape Canaveral. And Hoping for the best. Toll, 528. That's another toll. Oh my god, there's tolls for everything. Well, there's no taxes, so I guess that's why they have to. Talking about tolls, uh, we're looking up uh, Disney attractions. We're probably going to go to Wild Kingdom. And they have a cool safari thing and stuff like that. One day pass for, uh, I think it's over 10 or 13 year olds is uh, $85. Prove out many of the attractions today are in excess of $80 for a one-day pass. So uh, if you're plan planning to bring kids and family down here, well you can get check out prices online and see for discounts and coupons. And uh, But be ready to open up your wallet. We actually didn't make it back to Disney. Instead we chose to go to Kennedy Space Center. Yeah. After our five days here, we're going to head down to uh, Key West. We're now coming off to 528. It takes you to Cocoa, what? Cocoa Beach. Cocoa Beach and Kennedy Space Center. On the day of the launch of the final space mission Atlantis, the space shuttle comes to an end. There was also talk about that maybe up to hundreds of thousands of people are going to lose their jobs now because of the 
ending of the space program, so it's not exactly a stimulus goal. Now this is going to get a little bit more fuller because we're heading no tolls. We are heading to the launch of the space shuttle, so it says no tolls. I think they're letting the traffic through today. I don't know. There were no tolls that day, and uh, on our way down, we went through Mount Rushmore on the July long weekend, and there also there were all kinds of discounts given because it's American celebrations. That's a note for Kelowna here, where we just had Canada Day, and people were lined up to buy parking tickets uh, at the arena where the festivities were taking place. We learn a lot when we travel, and that's one of the reasons why I'm such an advocate for travel. So that's something, toll booths are closed today. This one anyway. Kennedy Space Center, 36 miles from here. Do we want to go all the way there? Or is the, uh... We can head right up towards it and see what happens. We might be able to see the uh, news trucks, the satellite things, and then uh, learn our way around there a bit. It's Tennisville and Coco Beach come before it. It's enough of a yeah. nice pond beside This is the traffic now heading towards Cape Canaveral and the launch of Atlantis. We've, we've slowed down to uh, 60 kilometers an hour. Now we're speeding up a bit. But heavy traffic backed up already. But we are moving along a little over 80 kilometers an hour. Time is closing in on to 10 a.m. A little over an hour away from There's a lot of video about launch. driving to it, but Getting to a destination Kennedy Space to an event Center, is as exciting as being there, at least for me. Traffic is again slowing down. And this is historic. This was the last launch of a space shuttle. There's no more. Well, there's not even a pond down there. We have one animal eating. Can't fish for the cow. <laughs> Snag it. <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> there have been world changing events in my lifetime and most of those have happened far away I don't know anything about it like for me one of the things I would have loved to seen or been there is when the we Berlin Wall came down, down. I mean what an event what a worldwide event that would have been like I said they were expecting a million people to watch it and people who have lived or stayed close to Titusville and other parts along the coast had an easy way to get to it. Most of the campgrounds or viewing stations spot sites are full now. But there's still a lot of people from the interior heading out that way and uh, it's well, like this is a long road. road. And these are I, like Florida plates too. Yeah. I think the reason that there's so many last minute people going, including us, is that we've stayed and watched the news to see if it would be cancelled because there are storms supposed to be approaching, lightning, rain and they only gave a 30% chance for launch, 70% chance of canceling, and uh, just taking a chance. But we're, we're still taking a chance going because we don't know what's going to happen. So. And we're 22 miles out and we're at a standstill. 22 miles away and that's the interstate. Is coming to stand The neat thing for us is that we have no idea when we get closer where the launch is taking place from, so we'll be kind of like uh, lost in space, looking all over the site. And you know, I tell you, best. it is genuinely exciting going to something you've never seen. You don't even know where it is, and uh, doing it with old technology. I'm using quotation marks you can't see in the air, but old technology because all we had is a map and. Uh, we just found our way around with that. Cars with a variety of license plates are on their way to uh, Kennedy Space Center in Florida for the final launch of Atlantis. The very last space shuttle launch in history. 30 years of space shuttle flights coming to an end today. July, traffic is backed up on uh, 
interstate heading to Kennedy Space Center. There's emergency vehicles somewhere coming. You can hear them. And uh, Cindy's made a lot of comments about how well the American interstates are, are signaged. There's signs everywhere with lots of warnings so you know which direction to go where. And that, that's amazing. There is an amazing interstate system in the USA. We came more than 5,000 kilometers for this one event, and it was worth it. There's virtually no traffic coming back, but this traffic on this side is just backed up. I think there might have been an accident, but uh, regardless, uh, we're going to stay on it. We're going to head towards it. We're about an hour and 20 minutes away from launch and uh, maybe 20 miles away from the center so it, it's not bad we'll, we'll get a lot closer at the very least in a way this is almost like a time capsule for not only us but for the future by the way the sounds you hear the cicadas yes all along. cicadas some places more prominent than others but And we'll have a funny a story about it. that coming up soon. I don't know if there's that many of them or if they're just being that loud. We've seen a few vehicles pulled over already. Now, I don't know what's happening, whether they're just frustrated with the traffic or uh, figuring that this is a place to view from but uh, we started to see this maybe a mile back traffic turning off to Titusville and the uh, Kennedy Space Center heading through to Cape Canaveral and Cocoa Beach Cocoa Beach isn't it that where Jeannie and uh, Oh, what's his name? Captain... Who? Captain what? I dream of Genie and Captain... A lot different line. than yeah, Texas, yeah. New Mexico, Arizona. And it's hard to imagine that when Florida was first populated by uh, the uh, conquistadors, the uh, settlers, whatever, that it was a cattle ranching area. I mean, I couldn't believe it till I, uh, you know, you got to get down there, and there are cattle ranches still operating. I just thought of it as a, you know, for oranges and orange groves, uh, citrus fruit farming, uh, retirees. It's ranching. Ranching is what made Florida. It was the number one industry, and. The number two industry has got to be the sale of mosquito repellent because the mosquitoes are unbelievable. Eight and a half miles. We came about as unprepared as you could come. But the good news on that front is we weren't alone. We pulled over when we saw traffic starting to stop. <coughs> it is now 10 to And 11. got into line and started walking with the rest of the people in the direction of Kennedy Space Center. There were people there from Texas, from uh, uh, all across the United States, from Canada, all around, even from Germany. And uh, most of us had no clue which direction the space shuttle would be taking off or what to look for. But we were all together and it was really a uh, neat experience just to talking to all the people that we met from different parts of North America and the world.
This event brought people together. That was gentleman was asking me which way is the best to see, and I have no idea. I mean, we're walking this direction. It's going to be somewhere. That's that's about all I knew. <coughs> Just to see this um, from Germany, no? Actually, we, we are on holidays and no. decided to check it out. <laughs> yeah. It's historic, so, but yeah, I don't know. But uh, we don't know. And, yeah. and, yeah, but it seems over. like everybody everybody's here, so it has to, they, they close the freeway over there. Oh, they go no more. Oh. It's from the street, and everybody's oh. parking right here. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be somewhere on this side. It isn't. Yeah, because okay. I'm looking at the map. I thought, yeah, here. Okay. 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 So I hear Texas is having a little heat wave right now. We're going for three months without water. Oh my God. And triple digit temperatures. Well, these months we usually get rain every other day. But right now we're in a, they, they call them already a, it's kind of a disaster. Because we lost all the cotton on the corn. It's gone. It's gone. between there and around here. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's uh, going to be very quick because yeah. of This gentleman says that it's going to be that way because he's looking at his little map thing. But I've seen other people pointing that way, so I... It's going to be right there in the middle. <laughs> It, it is funny when you see it. There's people facing this way, there's people facing the other way. We're really just facing whatever people around yeah. them are facing. Yeah, we're like all they might know something. <laughs> yeah. Ten after. From uh, just outside Montreal? No, she is. She is. 
You're just outside Montreal? Well, not anymore. Yeah. I used to be, like, you know, 30 yeah. some years ago. So but you're a resident down here now? or? Oh, yeah. I'm married an American. So I moved, <laughs> I moved to Jersey 37 years ago, and we've been in Florida for 20, 21 years. Yeah. So, so you must have seen a lot of changes around oh, here. Man. Oh, especially where we live. Yeah. Uh, we're south of here. And um, when we moved where we're at, uh, there was nothing for about like 10 miles. Yeah. So either like north of north, south, whatever. There was yeah. like a little development. Yeah. And within five, now it's like boom, very all built, all yeah. built in. Yeah. But the economy is really taking a bad turn too in Florida, we hear. Yeah. 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 Housing yeah. especially. Yeah, that's what we've yeah. been hearing. And, and the property value has dropped so much. But that's all over the country. Yeah. Well, except, yeah, not so yeah. much in Kelowna where we're from. Well, that's a, a different country. Bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you're on the rich side of the country, you know. Well, I yeah. think it is. <laughs> they believe yeah. they are. <laughs> it's an illusion. <laughs> yeah. But, oh yeah, it's like, you know, um, Florida used to be for retirees. Yeah. Yes. Not anymore. Oh, the schools are overcrowded. And it's really... No, it's like any other states or any other yeah. province, you know. So where are the retirees going now? They're squeezed in. No. <laughs> <laughs> the villages. The villages, yeah. She lives like two, oh, okay. two, uh, two hours um, north? west of here. Yeah, west yeah. Of here. more west. And it's uh, like, uh, a, a, they call it the villages. And there's about 100,000 people. There something. will be when it's done. And it's all like 55 and over. Right. You know, and it's, it's a nice community. It's a neat place. But it's, it's like the, the whole center. city. It's a whole self-contained city. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Of the state, yeah. but uh, they have like 400 different type of uh, activities. I mean, everything. What? That's a club. Oh my god! I mean, and if you don't, they don't have what you like. You start your own club. Okay. Yeah. There's clubs so, for everything. I mean, you know, you can go from morning to night, yeah. seven days a week, and never do the same thing twice. Wow. And that's it's it's a very unique <laughs> place. Can you imagine being the astronaut all strapped in and now you're going to wait for 40? Yeah. I can go to the bathroom! And they wait right there. I mean, they, they put him in inside the shuttle like five yeah. hours before yeah. the launch. Well, this thing is refreshing every time. They, they just put something in. They're still coming at you.
Five seconds of yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> We saw. One degrees. We're heading back towards Kissimmee, Kissimmee, and uh, Kissimmee. Kissimmee. Traffic is. You want another water? I no, that actually was the one I had a little bit less. Traffic is basically stop and go again. We're on number one, and then I think what we're going to do is check out some. Uh, Snakes, including milking of snakes. And you gotta have tiny little fingers to milk the snake. Watch the bicycle as he's weaving. I think the sheriffs are directing traffic with the lights to keep it moving a little bit smoother and faster. They're probably parked along here too, watching it, or had their boats in, whatever. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. We should have done a search. What the sheriffs are doing is coming up to the control boxes for the intersection for the lights and uh, getting the traffic to keep flowing. And it's, it's fantastic to see. I mean, uh, they're out doing things and positive things, dare I say. Clearview Drive.
wonder what those are. Well, this would be one of those 